What's up guys, how you're doing? It's your coach Olabi Manuel here again and in today's video we're gonna be touching what a presentation slide looks like. You get what I'm saying? In today's video I'm gonna be using the example of the slide used for my own IT defense. I believe this video is gonna be impactful, it's gonna be helpful so you guys should stay tuned to the end. And so you know, normally as we do always, uh, I wanna appreciate you guys who have really helped to grow this channel, I'm talking about my subscribers. If you've not subscribed already, I don't know what you are doing. You're an illegal occupant here. Click this subscribe button and you know turn on the notifications so you also get updated, you know, automatically. Automatically. So to the work of today, we're gonna be treating uh the presentation slide really. This is what my presentation slides look like. And uh, just before we go into the main work, you know, I want to walk you guys through the basic things you need to know, the fundamentals you need to know about your defense slide, what it really um should entail. So these are just four things that I listed. The first thing I call the defense slide fundamentals. The first thing you want to know is to make your slide simple. Why? Look, you're not the only one defending. You get what I'm saying? Some people bombard their slide like it is their it is their IT report. It doesn't need to be texty, it doesn't need to be long. Once your slide is going to be like fifteen slides, it's like what, what what are you doing? You get what I'm saying? So make it simple. Uh, if you put anything there at all, let it be the point, straight to the point, you know, straight to the point, straight to the point. Make it simple, not too long, not too texty. And then number two, make it clear. Make it clear. Now, before I go to make it clear, making it simple now, you know, the, the, if you want to use words to explain something, you could use a whole page. But, you know, just one picture can explain the whole thing you are saying in a page and then you just use your words to say it. So, that's it. Still make it simple. So, make it clear now. Make it clear. I mean, some people like to design their work, you know. They like uh, say, oh, they make it nice. Uh, they put some background to it, make it yellow, blue, green, blah, blah, blah. Look, nobody's looking at that. Anything like something as simple as black and white is okay for you. I'm serious. During my own defense, I did black and white. I had A in my defense. I had A in my defense and IT report. You get what I'm saying? So make it clear because you don't know the background to which the um your your slide will be projected upon. So make it clear. Black and white shows on any background, but colors like green, like like blue, they are not always bold on every background. You get what I'm saying? Then just the third thing now is make your work restricted to what you did in CWS, really. Let it be restricted to what because your lecturers eh, they are looking for your downfall, they are looking for your pitfall. So if you are talking about something and they sense that you are not confident in that, they really they can really like base on it and, and and try to make you feel like ah, what did I say? This this that like you, you you know what I mean now. It's it's something that we experience in defense and and that is how it's also you want to major on the major like things you are clear of and and that will help you. So finally, I'll say speak up and speak out. I'm going to talk about that later, but let me talk about it now. Speak up and speak out. Some people have very good defense slide, but when they defend, they do very terribly. Like, very, very bad. <laughs> I have some colleagues of mine, they were like, oh, I'll, I'll share my slide, is okay. I'm like, it's okay. Then they are defending, and I'm like, oh, God. Speak out. Literally saying, I can't hear you. They are still speaking. What? What? So, you know, it's, it's not big boy in any way. So let's just go to the presentation slide straight up. Okay, so the first the first page, like presentation slides usually have the same format. The first page is the introduction, um, where you did your CWS work, you know, and then your name and matric number. Really, this is how they recognize you. So make it bold, your name and your matric number. The next thing, your, your company. To just talk about where your company is, like their address, you know. Okay, address in, is in the previous slide. When they were founded, that's why I did it. The work they do and then present operation you took part in. You know, then the third thing is your organogram. No one is going to tell you to be going through your organogram. It's just protocol. That your organogram should be there. Then next thing, you go to how you want to structure your work, area of work. For me now, I worked at a, 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 a road construction company, you know, and then my work was really at these different locations. We work on the caterpillars, maintaining them. So first of all, I listed all the locations of work. The next thing, I used pictures to represent them. This is the quarry, you know, this is the factory, this is the bureau P, this is the work site, and then this is our warehouse. I just used pictures to really explain this part. And don't waste time. Don't waste time. You go on the next slide. Now, excuse me, we worked on caterpillars. These are different types of caterpillars, excavator, payloader, grader, this and that. Next slide, I used to show the different these, these things like visually, you know, carrying my, my supervisors alone. If they tell you to stop, calm down, you know, it's an interaction, it's an interaction, it's an flow with them, flow with them. Okay, so the next thing as well was maintenance operation. This is just the three things I wanted to go 
true. In fact, I knew these three, but I knew I was going to. I know these two very well. Tensioning and servicing. And lubrication is, is is very easy, so I just added it there. You know. So next thing I did went into tensioning. I'm just putting points here. You see that this is just points, points, and points. Why? It's very simple. The thing is, the focus should not be on my slide. The focus really should be on me. My slide is just assisting me to present better. So keep that in the back of your mind. The focus is on you. It's not on your slide. Don't go and put too much jagbajantis on your slide and like you know it's it's unnecessary. So I use this this uh, next picture really, not this this one this next slide to explain what tensioning is. This is the excavator. Um, when it comes in collision in the quarry, it can break. You know, and so what we do is we fix it back and then we use this grease pump to do the tensioning. As simple as that. Simple as that. So that clear. If you have questions, okay. You know, when supervisors are, are talking, let them talk. If they are trying to control the class as well, let's say it's too noisy, let them do it, then continue talking. You know, so that they get your point and they can record you well. I don't get into arguments with them, please. Don't get into arguments, just smile, okay, man, and then you continue, you know. So this is just, I explained servicing, and then I was actually done with it. I The next thing I did was to summarize my chapter 3. My chapter 3 is summarized in this table. Since I did maintenance work, so I just felt it is good that I list the caterpillars, I list the faults, get then the symptoms of these faults and then their remedy it's something i i coined out myself i did this item in, so i it's just something that was so easy for me so pretty much my slide was done here you know but at the time you feel like man to slide you know you're cooking now it's supposed to be food you get so i added my um challenges face it doesn't need this is texting now you get no one read all this so no one read all this if if you get to the point that you are reading your slide when you are defending know that it's like something is getting wrong already because with one line you should be able to just say most caterpillars on site are either too old or fairly used that's the challenge then you explain it yourself speak with them speak with and be confident like you are you, you did this it man you get what i'm saying and even there's a kind of confidence you can have that even if you don't do your it as you should you know you have that confidence and there are a lot of my guys are intelligent and they know how to defend even if they didn't do it so well to the maximum okay so this is summary of work done i told you that this is, should not be as texty as this i could actually combine it with um with the conclusion and make it just one slide you know then i add my recommendations this is texty don't mind me you get one or two three recommendations is okay and uh, so i just added this picture because i had some pictures it's not really necessary i just wanted to show that this is our work i i i, I think i later used it to just show that i'm always getting dirty but okay i didn't get to this slide that was uh, at the point when i was in my summary of work done my supervisor was already joking with me and they just said i could go you know so that is it that's basically what what um a presentation slide is it is not a big deal look this is a discussion with you and your supervisor you get what i'm saying so have fun with it have fun with it those guys want to intimidate you and you may be so fortunate that they are rowing with you and whichever way is just be confident they smart for your composure you know, there's mark for your composure, there's mark for your slide, and there's mark for your dressing. You know, and the way you can communicate and answer questions as well. So, really, it's something you should have fun with. You get what I'm saying? So, let's not forget um, the, the basics I said. Make your slide words simple. Not too long and texty. Make it clear. Black and white is okay for you. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm serious. Black and white is okay for you. I made my slide myself. I didn't need to tell anybody, hey, hey help me with this. Help me. No, no, no. I just made it simple. And you, this is simple communication. The focus is on me. Not on this slide, you know. The next thing is speak up and speak out. Like speak up what and speak out. So that that okay. So to end, I'll just want to glance through my slide again and you know um, have fun with it. All right, that's it from me today. And uh, well, let's go through the slide first off. I want to thank you guys for subscribing and to this channel. It means a lot to me. And uh, just so much. Love. Walking on a plane as I hold my breath. It's gonna be weeks till I breathe again. No, no. No, I know that you hate it, and I hate it just as much as you. But if you can breathe it, I can breathe it, brave it up for you. Call me anytime you can see the lightning. Don't you be alone, you can always find me. We got a wild love raging, raging. Lost among a million changing faces. Every day our hearts keep trading places. We that would be it from me this week guys i really appreciate you for your time you know i wish you guys all the best in your defense and um, much much goodness and uh so much so much good stuff for you all right before i close i just want to add one more thing if 
you've not submitted your form A, I should have included this earlier. Make sure that the score you put over 80 should be 70 or above. Why? Because footer is supposed to add 20 marks, but the truth is that footer doesn't add any mark to it. Whatever is there on your form A is what they are going to just record, and that is for you need on its own. So that is really a, a bonus to you guys at the end of this video. Uh, so thank you very much. Subscribe, bro. subscribe. You know, this is so much good stuff. And share with your folks. I invest money to sharing this stuff to make you guys know about it. You know, so I just like it to support you know, and share as well. Okay, guys, till um, next time, which is very, very soon. I love you all. And